Right, pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. You bring this all the way down the choke. Okay. And then you go ahead, just pull it till it burps. Once it burps, move it up one click. Pull it about three times on the third or fourth pull. It should start right up. And when it starts up, make sure you're careful when you grab this. Take the chain brake off. And it's gonna it's gonna start spinning. So mm -hmm. that's when you hit the trigger, it's gonna stop. And it's, it's still gonna run, just the blade's not gonna be spinning. So hit the trigger and just let it idle 10, 15 seconds. Then you go ahead and just pull the trigger about eight times, I'd say, just so you start getting oil in there, it starts warming up some more. Mm -hmm. And you just go Anytime ahead. the motor is running in this thing, the, the blade's not turning though at that point. The blade will be turning. Oh, the blade yes, will sir. be turning. Yes, sir. Okay. And then, you know, as you're going like that, just running it, running it, uh, you go ahead and run it for about, I say, five seconds maybe. Mm -hmm. Just right here. Just keep this pressed down. Five seconds, then you stop. And, you know, as you can see, it's shiny because it's getting oil, the mm -hmm. blade. And then, like I just showed you, you go ahead and run it down here. And then you'll see oil come out of it right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then when it's warm, like I said, it's going to be, you know, when it's warm and you shut it off, that's shut off. You push this all the way up. Okay. And then you're going to start back up again. Bring it down one to this top one right there. Mm -hmm. Right here, just. And break off. And make sure to, if you're gonna run it or work it, always make sure this chain break is off. So if you have customers that have ran their chainsaws with the chain break on and it burns all this up mm. and it costs a lot to repair it. So I gotta I gotta wanna get my hands in there mm -hmm. and pull this forward. Yeah, so and, th and then begin to run. Yeah, yeah. So here, what you can do so you can just get a feel for it. Uh I'll let you do that. Okay. Move that one down. Okay, down, down one, one right there. And then, and then uh you pull this. this. And then, yeah. oh, Okay, now don't run it when on. you do what? With sometimes sure, people sometimes people run this with the chain brake on. When, so it, when, it, when it's on, you'll hear it. It's right here. It's or on. You can't push it forward anymore. When you pull it back, it's off. That's off. Oh, oh okay. Now when so, I that, so pull that, it back, that's what happened. I pull yeah. it back and release and it, and then you just let just it go that. there. Yep. But forward, it's on. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't want to so. run the chainsaw with that chain brake on. Right. I think Leo mentioned that too. The yeah. chain no. brake is it's on now. It's, no. Chain, brake's chain off brake now. is off, but now it's on. When it now clicks, but, that's the brake. But when I bring it forward, you just bring it forward and release it. Yeah. yeah. And then you just release it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Release it because this that way, for any reason, if you lose control of it or anything or just miss like drop it or anything mm -hmm. this here it's uh it's there that way just in case you need to turn the, that chain brake on shut it off yeah just like that oh okay mm -hmm. so that's off chain brake off that's how you want to run the chainsaw mm -hmm. that's when it's on you only have this on most of most times or all the time you have the chain brake on when you're starting it mm -hmm. that's it and then once it gets going like i said pull this it's gonna start spinning full throttle it's gonna start spinning so then just hit that trigger and let it idle 10, 15 seconds. And then you go ahead and pull the trigger about eight times. And then you go ahead and run it for what about two pulling seconds. the trigger? That's just warming it up. Oh, okay. warming it up. Make, making sure this gets oiled. Okay, the chain it. gets oiled. And so, also, yeah. Jim, when you get finished, clean it. And also, you sit it on like a. You can sit it on one of those cardboard because mm -hmm. it was. It will make an, a stain. Is is, yeah. is that? Melody's always talking about oil leaking. Is that the oil that's on the chain that mm -hmm. she's saying yeah. it's not leaking from the? No, it's just when it's circulating. It yeah. Build it out. Yeah, 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 I always thought down. when you said that it was leaking from your oil reservoir, but. No. Um, well, mine okay, don't so work. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna start it here again. So make sure um, that's off. Okay, there we or, go. Oh, sorry. Pull this down, down one. Yeah, well...
the cook though. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you're going to be reading, I cut my leg off. So oh, much. man. <laughs> if you need any help, just go ahead and call us and I'll walk you through it too. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll do that. So. Uh, all right, well, good, man. Thanks for coming. I'm glad, glad that uh, Mark sent you out because uh, uh, I, I was going to bring it in and just. Yeah, uh, no, I won't. So I told him, hey, you want to go with me just to give a, a quick lesson on the chainsaw? He was like, yeah. So I was like, we knock out two birds, one stone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just standing out there for the longest time. And then uh, <laughs> I told him, you came up separately. You came out with him. Yeah, I was out there at the truck and I was like, oh, this is the guy with the chainsaw. So that's why I came on down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Did you guys want to take a beer with you, too?